Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on Valley Spring. Last episode we purchased the dairy, uh, which is a really, really good thing to have done because now we can use the milk that we've got to turn into other products. So I thought I'd start today's episode by filling up the milk tanker with some milk from the cows and taking that straight to the dairy so we can get it in production overnight. Because it's 8pm currently so we will be moving time on very soon. But we've still got a bit of daylight as it's still July so it's still quite light at night. Um, so we can get this done while it's sort of got a bit of daylight and then we'll move on time once we've got the uh, milk delivered to the dairy. So I'm just waiting for the tanker to fill up. It's got quite a big capacity, I think it's about 25 24, 25,000 litres. So that's just got to fill up, it's on nearly 80% now. Once this is full, we'll head off down to the dairy and get that delivered. And then we'll be able to turn it into possibly cheese. I'll have a look when I get there actually, but uh, we'll see what products we can make with the milk, which will be worth a lot more than just selling the milk on its own. There we go, right and full. So it's got to spin around in the yard and then head down to the dairy. Go get a turn around and head down there. Probably not going to be worth time lapsing the travelling down there because it's just literally a case of just driving down there. So, what I'll do, I'll just cut the video here and then we'll see you down at the dairy. So, we're just approaching the dairy now. It's just this entrance here on the left hand side. So, we'll pull in here and deliver our milk. So, where's the tip point? I think it's just here, isn't it? That's easy. You can just reverse into there. And then yeah, on the left hand side there, that's where the pallet should spawn of whichever product we do make from the dairy. So I'll start off by unloading that and then while that's unloading I will jump onto the productions menu. And uh, ah, it's already in, it's already running. I'll deactivate the chocolate because we haven't got any sugar. But we can make cheese and butter, so we'll do that. Just thinking, probably need to get a forklift down here to load them, unless I just manually lift them, um, or we could set them to auto selling. But we probably won't get as much money then. I'll have a look to see when the best price is to sell each one of these things, and just see which one is worth concentrating on the most. Um, where are we? Cheese and butter. Here we go. So current price is two and a half thousand. Um, best price is nearly three thousand. Big jump in September. It's quite actually it's quite volatile. <laughs> Jumps up in September, then drops back down again, then jumps back up again in January. Um, so we're currently in July, so it's on the increase. That's good. So butter's good. Cheese. Oh yeah, it's very similar actually, um, but worth worth more. But we'll probably get a few pallets out of that. Um, yeah, about five thousand. We might just focus on the cheese actually. So we won't have as many pallets to move. Yeah, cheese is producing slower, but we get more per pallet. Um, or should we keep them both running? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe we'll keep them both running, and then then we've got maybe faster production. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll keep them both on now. I'll keep them both on, I don't want to be too indecisive about it, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, we'll keep them both running. And then uh, we'll get, hopefully, more pallets more quickly. This cheese is quite a slow production, I think. So anyway, it's starting to go quite dark now, but I'm hoping to get back and get another load of milk. I'm not sure how much more we've got, actually, let's check that. But hopefully it'll be enough to get another, or at least another part load down here. I'll keep the production running. So, uh, yeah, I'll continue moving this, probably on a time lapse now until we finish moving on the milk and then we'll move time on to the next day.
So as you saw there, we've taken all the milk down now to the uh, production at the dairy and that's running now, um, so that's good. One thing though that isn't so good is the fact that we're almost out of rye. We also have no other crops in storage. I didn't, I don't know how I've managed to forget this really, but yeah, we're gonna run out of feed for the ducks, uh, which is not good. I thought we had more than we did. It seems to have gone down a lot quicker than I was expecting anyway. Um, so we're either gonna have to buy another field which we can harvest quickly, like the barley field down here, um, and then use that for duck feed, or we're going to have to buy in feed, which is very expensive. So you can see the only thing we've got now is about 1,500 litres of rye in the silo and whatever's in the trailer now. That's all we've got. That's not going to last us until next harvest. <laughs> so we've got no wheat or anything at all in storage, so that's really not good. So I think we're going to have to take out more of a loan, unfortunately, and buy that field. Um, because that's the only way we're going to get some affordable feed for the ducks. Really not what I wanted to be doing exactly, but it's the only option. It's not even near our yard particularly, but it's not, I suppose it's not too far to go, but it's not exactly in our yard area. These are the fields we currently own. So 167 is a bit, well actually it's 241, it changes. Uh, it's the, that's the only field really, well, it's 207 as well, but are they actually ready to harvest? Let's just check. Yeah, they're both ready to harvest. That one we can actually afford one, or 207 we can afford wheat, that field there. We can't afford this one. Um, how big is that field? Let's just have a quick look before it gets harvested, hopefully. Yeah, this one is ready to harvest. This is a wheat field. It's not a massive field, but it would help with the uh, amount we've got. The other field, which is the barley field, that's a lot bigger. Yeah, that one probably is the one to go for. That is ready to harvest now. So I think we're gonna have to go with that. We're gonna have to extend the loan quite a lot though, to be able to afford to do it. But we'll be able to pay it back again once we've sold some more stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is it's not quite what I was expecting to be doing today because the, the other fields, I, I, I was a bit silly really, I shouldn't probably have bought another bean field because we can't feed the beans to the ducks, I don't think. So we've got two large bean fields that are not ready to harvest yet, but they nearly are. These two are almost ready. These are the ones we've already harvested, so we're going to have to get them redrilled with a crop for the ducks, definitely. But I'm going to have to, yeah, like I said, extend my loan, unfortunately quite a lot. <laughs> um, 114 is that enough? So there's now £75,000 loan. Oh, we still can't afford it. That's going to be another extra £5,000. So we've got an £80,000 loan again. Not good. But at least we will have a field, another, another field, and we'll be able to feed our ducks through the winter. That's the important thing. Um, yeah, so that's going to be what we're going to do today then. We're going to jump into the combine and we're going to harvest the barley field and then we'll have enough feed for the ducks through the winter because otherwise there would be no way. We'd definitely not have enough feed. Perhaps we can put our header on, or header trailer on, and uh, get down to the new field, which is the barley field. It always hits the combine for some reason. Oh, and the other thing, which I know um, I should have done as well is I should have trailed the straw because you can get canola oil, uh, canola straw, and I think you can get linseed straw as well. I keep forgetting to do it, so we didn't get any straw off these fields, which I should have done. So that's a bit annoying, um, but we can definitely get the straw out of the barley, so we'll do that. We'll make sure it's trailing straw, and we'll get that bailed up and that week for the cows for the TMR mix, because otherwise we'd run out of straw as well. So it's probably a good job I've got this barley field otherwise we wouldn't even have enough straw for the winter. Anyway, yep, so that's done, so we'll head down there and we'll start harvesting the barley field. Okay, we've arrived at our barley field, I think. I'm not sure exactly where to get into the field. I think it's down that track, yeah. We can get down there. Or is there, a, is there a gateway down here? I'm not 100% sure. It's the first time I've been down here, so I'm not sure. No, that's going to be into the grass field, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want to be going down there. Oh no, I'm going to cause chaos on the road. 
yeah, I definitely want to be turning in here. So let's get backed up again and turn into this gateway here. We'll get around just about. Right, so this is our new field. Got to get the header trailer off somewhere. Then we'll get the header on and start house. Oh, they're good. There's a bit of grass here that we can leave it. That's good. That'll keep it out of the way when we're harvesting. So we'll drop the header trailer off. Combine and folded, and we'll start the harvest of the barley. So as usual, I'll do the headland myself, and then possibly use the worker to do a bit more once we get the headlands done. Also need to go and get the trailer, of course, as well, which has currently got um, rye in it at the ducks, so uh, yeah, we'll need to move that. I also need to remember to set the straw trailing so that we can bale that. Very important because we'll otherwise we'll have no straw either over the winter. <laughs> right, so I'll get on with this harvesting now. going well and I've just come down here with the bale now and we're going to start baling up the straw. I'm sure when the help is going to be full it probably will need to be emptied again very soon actually. I'll just keep my eye on it but for now I'll just continue the baling. Um, so yeah that's a good job done I think there. It's not taken too long actually. I think I went probably with the right choice of field. I think the other one would have probably been a bit too small. I don't think it would have got enough um, grain off that one to keep the ducks going all through the winter so at least the field this size we should keep them going without running out of feed. Set the straw bale size to the maximum it will allow so that we hopefully don't have as many bales to handle and yeah the bigger capacity bale. I think that one might have been smaller, I'm not sure that was seven and a half thousand litres, I'm not sure what the uh, the largest is this bale does, it might be seven and a half. Let's just see what this one is. Oh, it looks like it's going to be more than that. I think are they 9,000 the biggest? So we're over half full now and it's almost at 7,000. Yeah, definitely going to be a bigger bell this one. I think it's 9,000, might be 9.5. Nine no, it's keep, it keeps going, it's 10,000. 11, wow, 11,000 litres of big bales. It's 
good. That should really reduce our bail handling. There we go. Yeah, that's good. So yeah, I'll continue with the bailing and also empty the combine as and when it needs to be done. So the harvest is complete now, it helps us finish off. There's a small area that's not been done just over here which I noticed, but other than that it's all finished. So let's go and get that done. It's only a tiny bit there, but I might well guess it. A bit of extra bonus uh, rain that I don't want to lose. And I don't think it's all going to fit in the trailer, so I'm probably going to have to take some back in the combine. I don't think it's going to put green trailer back again to the field. Um, so I'll just unload what I can into the trailer now take that back and then just take the combine back with whatever's left in the tank and load that into the trailer once I get back near the yard. So yeah, the, there is the trailer hold there, it's not, not quite. Should have a bit, a bit of room for some more. Shall I take the trailer now? There we go, it's full. So I'll just head back to the yard with this. This will be tipped in the silo, obviously used for ducks as feed. So we're we'll selling this just to keep them going over the winter, as I said earlier. Then I'll come back, get the combine and bring the baler back as well. Feel complete then. Um, I just thought probably the last job today we'll go back to the dairy and see how that's getting on, see if we've got any products we can sell. 
so I'll take the pickup truck down there and uh, if I've got any pallets of dairy produce we can sell today that'll be good so I'll get them loaded into the back of the pickup truck so let's have a drive down there it always looks really rough in this vehicle it's uh, this is probably the one with the worst physics it doesn't seem to have any suspension whatsoever I know I've commented on this before actually on this map but uh, you know this is noticeable how uh, there is absolutely no suspension or no visible suspension sort of physics in the game on this vehicle particularly the tractors are not too bad then they're reasonable but this is not good it's very jarring you can tell there's, there's literally no suspension whatsoever anyway yeah we'll just head down to the dairy again and see what we can get loaded up just approaching the dairy now once again it's on the left hand side so we'll just get turned in here this one here and we'll see what we can sell so this pallet spawn point is just over here, there's already another pickup truck here loading up but uh, I've come for my pallets so we'll jump out and see what we can get in the back so they're loading up their milk and I've got two pallets of butter, it looks like there's no cheese although it's not far off, the cheese is on 800 out of 1000 so we're not too far off getting cheese but at the moment we've only got two milk pallets um, so I'll have to load these by hand, I haven't got a forklift here really we should have a forklift here but can't afford one at the moment as you can see so uh, to make it all pretend, pretend they're loading it with their forklift, they've got a forklift on site so you know, we can just pretend that they've loaded it for us Fit in. There we go, get them strapped. Close up the tailgate and uh, we'll get these two sold. So it's not going to be a great profit from just two, it's uh, still quite early on in production, so we've only got two pallets of butter, but other than nothing. And we need to check to see where the best price is for the butter. So it's gone up a bit, yeah, that's good, it's on the increase and it's uh, 2.66 so uh, that's at the start of everything which is not very fast to go at all that is just literally around the corner so we'll head around the corner and get these sold with a much needed financial boost because at the moment we've got a huge loan now again £80,000 loan unfortunately don't like having big loans but at the moment there was no real choice because I needed to get some barley in for the, for the ducks as you know so uh, that was really my only option other than buying feed in which is even more expensive so I don't want to do that so what will we get for these two 5300 plus another 570 bonus so it's, yeah not too bad considering it's only two pallets brings us to 8000 in the bank I think we'll get more once production continues a bit more, we'll get a few more pallets available and then we should start making some big money from that. But it's a start, <laughs> getting there. Okay, so yeah, just drive back to the yard and then that'll probably be it for today's episode. Okay, we're back at the yard now, so just park in the shed again where we came from and then that'll be it. So there we go, I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.